Hello and welcome to Miles Electronics. I'm Carl and today we're going to be looking at uh, the Sigma Probe. Sigma Probe is a uh, automotive diagnostic tool. Uh, you know today's cars are as complicated as they've ever been and so realistically you need a fairly complex tool to diagnose cars these days. You know the simple light uh, check and things like that just aren't going to work anymore so uh, you know, we're going to do an unboxing, uh, uh, an initial overview of this product, and uh, eventually a teardown. And uh, you know, we'll try some other features out and see how they uh, how they work. Uh, so, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and uh, start tearing it apart. So, first thing we've got is the uh, the package here. Uh, Sorry for the airplane there. I'll wait for that to go over. It's kind of a hazard of filming outdoors, right? Uh, and I figured I'd do this outdoors today. It's a nice day. Uh, let's get out in the sunshine and uh, enjoy the day. So this is your typical, uh, you know, overseas package here. So we'll. I guess get into this as best as we can. Um, I'm not sure how. Okay, I guess that'll work. Get this thing out of here. Basically double boxed. So let's take a look here. Sigma Probe, Vehicle Intelligence Circuit Tester from VX DOS. Okay, and uh, overload protection, resistance test, short circuit protection, um, components activation, AC DC voltage test, professional diagnostics. And there's a free video there, Facebook link. So it looks like the big things on here, we've got a nice LCD screen here, 2.4 inches. Uh, it'll detect volts, volts and ohms. Uh, smart test mode, multimeter mode, it'll do uh, you know voltage resistance, diodes, opens and shorts, current and frequency. Uh, it says here it can do a relay test, a diode test. Relay test, I'm particularly interested in seeing how that goes because uh, that seems like an interesting feature. Uh, has an oscilloscope test, so apparently has an oscilloscope built in. Actually, has a zero to five volt power supply that you can adjust, so you can output uh, some some voltage to components. Uh, obviously, for like it says, component activation, uh, positive and negative test, circuit breaker protection, the current adjustable, so it must have a uh, built-in current trip. So if you can draw power from it, it'll protect itself. And of course, multi languages. Uh, some specifications and parameters here, you know, it's got a 320 by 240 uh, TFT color display, uh, you know, 0 to 60 degrees C working temperature, uh, obviously can run on 12 or 24 volts, um, minimum working voltage is 9, maximum is 30, uh, 150 volts is the maximum measuring voltage you can do. Uh, minimum measuring voltage 0.1. Resistance range is 1 to 200 kilo ohms. Current range is 0 to 18 amps. And maximum continuous current is 18 amps. So it looks like it comes with this probe tip over here. It comes with a front LED light. Uh, so I guess if you're working in dim places, you can uh, get a little extra light there. Uh, it has a green red LED indicator. I'm not sure what that's all about, but uh, we'll get into that. Uh, of course, the LCD screen, the key button operation, uh, has a speaker, has a uh, auxiliary ground lead, uh, power connector obviously here, and a relay test port for the uh, for testing relays. Uh, it has a, uh, a hook here, so you can hook it on to something. Um, a USB port, maybe for updates, uh, and of course, alligator battery clip to get power to this thing. Um, this side basically looks like the same as the other side. Nothing really on the top there, and nothing on the bottom. So let's go ahead and uh, 
get this thing opened. Yeah. So it comes in a nice, uh, you know, blow molded case it looks like here. Uh, typical of, uh, you know, automotive test instruments. A lot of them come in these blow molded cases. Uh, open this thing up. Okay, it's got a nice uh, foam padding here on the top with some cutouts, I guess, if you wanted to put them in there. Um, got some leads there, obviously the, the test meter itself. And wow, look at this manual. This is quite the manual here. Uh, not typically, uh, you know, what I would expect from something like this, but then again, I wasn't really sure what I was expecting, but this is a, you know, pretty, pretty interesting manual. Looks fairly comprehensive, I guess, but it's still pretty brief. But I guess it kind of goes over each of the features and, uh, you know, how you can start to use them. Uh, you know, we may go over that in a more in-depth review of this product. This is kind of more of just a, you know, an unboxing and, a, and an overview here. So, yeah, this is a good manual. I like it. Nice. Okay, let's look at the tool itself. It's over here. Breezy today, but uh, so we got the Sigma probe here. I'm not sure if there's a probably there's a covering on there. Uh, looks like you've got a you know port for your probe. There's your LED light. This must be the relay test port. It's like a 3.5 millimeter jack. There's the hook there, so you can hook it on something. It is a rubbery kind of hook, so you know it does have some give and uh, you know some rubberish buttons there. Seem pretty responsive. Uh, looks like it's got an opening here. Probably has a, like it says, it has a speaker in there. There's a USB port. It's got a, you know, a nice uh, cover for it to keep, uh, you know, grease and grime out of there when you're working. Uh, it's got quite a cable here for power. Yeah, that's a substantial power connector as well. This was obviously the auxiliary ground. Uh, connector and uh, looks like we've got okay yeah it's got a fuse holder built in uh, it's like a 25 amp fuse in there okay so that's nice protection let's look and see what we got here in our bag of goodies The bag of goodies we've got obviously our battery uh, battery alligator clips. These things are pretty substantial. Yeah, yeah. Those are pretty good. Here we've got uh, looks to be um, like an auxiliary or to get you a little further away from what you're trying to test. That would be the positive port. And in here, looks like we've got the rest. Looks like we've got a USB cable there extension. Looks like we've got a probe. Looks like mine's a little bent, but this thing's not really that... Uh, I mean, it's easy to bend, so it's not, you know, very, very stiff. Um, that's interesting. And then this is obviously looks like our relay testing port cable. We'll have to try that out. This looks like our auxiliary ground port. And uh, okay, this probe here is the one that's really solid. Okay, I gotcha. This one might be just to get into really thin connectors or something like that. All right, so. Overall, looks like a nice product, and then I guess I'll get a battery out here, and uh, I don't think we can really test it out here in the sunlight, because then you're not going to get a good view of the screen, so we'll have to do that uh, inside, but um, 
But yeah, first impressions of this, it looks like a quality piece. Um, I don't really have any, you know, disgruntled things to say about it. Um, looks like it comes apart with four screws. We'll have to get into it and see what it looks like inside. Um, but yeah, okay. Well, let's power this thing up and see what the screens show and then uh, we'll continue on with the review. All right, so let's pick up from uh, where we were outside. Um, we want to hook this thing up to a power source and uh, you know get some close-ups of the screens and go through uh, the feature set that we got here. So we've got this battery connector here and uh, like I said, it's a pretty substantial battery connector. Uh, obviously it's polarity or polarized so you can't uh, you know plug it in backwards. Um, and then you've got the big gator clips there to uh, connect to, you know, any kind of automotive battery that you might have. And so we're going to just connect it to this uh, little 12 volt battery I got here. And as you can see, the uh, system powered on. Apparently the light on the top is uh, working. I don't know why that comes on right away, but um, in any case, we'll figure that out. Uh, let me get a close-up of the screen, and then we can uh, go through and see what we got on this thing. All right, so here we have a, uh, a look at the screen. Um, got the lights turned down here in the room, so the don't really get any glare and uh, we can see the functions and the features that are going to come up on the screen. Let me go ahead and get uh, down here and be able to push these buttons. So you know you've got the left and the right and the up and the down so it moves us around on the screen. Uh, looks like there's no extra you know options further or left or right on the screen it just you know the cursor just goes on what's on the screen currently. Uh, obviously you can hear the beeper, so it does have uh, you know audible feedback. Um, and the, the light, uh, I'm not sure if we can turn that on and off. Uh, I guess we'll find out sooner or later, but um, uh, anyway, so the first setting here is smart, so let's go into smart and see what that does. So it looks like it uh, basically is kind of what I was mentioning on the box. It's trying to, you know, determine resistance or voltage. So I don't have anything connected to this at this time. You know, I'll do that in the more in-depth review of this. Uh, but just for now, I wanted to cover all the functions that this thing has. Uh, and to get back out of this function, I believe you just hold the, uh, the left button down and it goes back. Uh, so multimeter mode, I would assume, obviously, is a multimeter. So it defaults to, looks like, DC volts. Uh, and then you can move the cursor over uh, using the right button. And goes into uh, a resistance meter, ohm meter. Move it over again. Yeah. There we go. Turns into a diode or possibly a continuity. Let me uh, hit OK or maybe up or down. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to... Uh, doesn't seem to be able to pick whether it's ohms or... I mean continuity or diode check. Maybe it just, uh, you know, if it gets a short it'll be a continuity check. We can check that out in, um, you know, the in-depth review. We've got... Um, Obviously amps, I'm sure that's DC amps, don't really have AC amps very much in a, in a vehicle. And uh, a frequency meter, so we can uh, see what kind of frequency and duty cycle um, our signal is coming in at. And that's very helpful for, uh, you know, pulse width modulated signals going to things in the vehicle actuators and things like that so that that's a handy feature to have so that's the uh, the meter and I think you have to hold the button down yeah and it goes back to the main menu and an interesting one here is the oscilloscope 
Um, I'm not sure on the specifications of this, but as we can see here, you know, it's running. Uh, it says there's a 133 hertz signal. I don't really see that on the screen. Uh, if I push down, it uh, looks like it makes the divisions increase. All right, so 12 volts per division, 16 volts per division. And if I go hit the up button, then it goes down, which is kind of uh, backward from what you would think. But now you can see the, uh, the line down on the bottom there. Um, and now I'm at 1 volt per division. Now left and right obviously changes the, the uh, time per division. So now it says 2 milliseconds, 1 millisecond, 0.5 milliseconds, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 milliseconds. 0.06 milliseconds and that looks like that's the bottom of the range and the top of the range looks like we go up to 500 milliseconds per division right and so one volt is the lowest voltage per division and the highest voltage per division looks like we go up to 49 volts per division okay and then has a V max a V min over here, so I guess it keeps track of the you know the voltage max and the voltage min. And uh, I'm not really sure of what other features. If I hit OK, it obviously seems to stop capturing. Uh, hit OK again, it uh, continues to capture. So you can kind of maybe you know stop a signal that you have on the screen and uh, probably zoom in on it. I imagine uh, while it's frozen. Uh, I don't think it has a one-shot feature so that you can't like trigger on something and capture a waveform, but that's uh, a possibility. Maybe we'll have to see if we can do something like that with an in-depth review. Um, but other than that, that's really interesting that it has an O-scope. So, uh, you know, that's a nice feature to have in a tool like this. Oh, and then we go to the relay check. And again, in the in-depth review, we'll do this, uh, you know, actually hook a couple relays up and see what we can get on this. Um, as you can see, it can check, uh, you know, normally open, normally close relay or one that's just normally open. Um, and it shows VCC up there. And I don't know if I hit the right button. Nothing happens. Down button, nothing happens. Up button, nothing button. Sounds like it turns it on when I hit up. Um, so it's trying to check it, obviously. And it, since it's not connected, that makes sense. It's just not going to, uh, you know, be able to do anything with it because there's nothing to to check. But we'll do that in the in-depth review. Active. Uh, not really sure what this is. We've got a volts DC, an amp, and a VCC uh, reading. And looks like this must obviously also use the the uh, you know the relay harness that it comes with. It says up tip is power, and down tip is ground. Uh, and I hope this down this feature is being upgraded. Not sure what that is. There's a constant current value of 18 amps. Um, if I hit up, notice the volt DC meter there. So if I hit up and hold it down, um, it says 12.5 volts. Maybe it's sending out at 2 amps. Right? And it's a momentary signal, it looks like. Because then you can go move over to latch. And uh, looks like it latches it. Notice this LED comes on. The red LED is like a plus. Green LED is like a minus. Um, so, and then pulse. As you can hear, it's pulsing the output. Right? Or you hit up to stop it. And this is the, obviously the current set. So it's basically at how what kind of amperage you set here, obviously. And looks like you can go all 
the way down to one amp up to I believe uh, like I said on the box uh, 18 amp trip All right constant current value and then momentary must just yeah turn it on turn it off latch latches it on latch you know turns it off again pulse you know pulses it I'm not sh doesn't look like you can adjust the pulse rate um, it's just pulsing it and like seems to be about a second a pulse and then of course the current set okay that's an interesting feature there it was active so I guess that's probably maybe something for activate right activate a solenoid activate a injector activate a light bulb something like that here it looks like the zero to five volts so it's this is probably like a output so yes yeah, is voltage setting the output voltage so uh, power output test so it's putting out 2.5 volts and it's showing that it's you know reading back that voltage and as I'm pushing up you know the voltage goes up and of course 5 volts is as high as it goes and if I hold well, holding it doesn't really do anything So it looks like it can go all the way down to zero volts, all the way to five volts at a half a volt a time. So that's your, you know, variable voltage supply, right? If I hit right button, nothing happens there. Hit OK, nothing happens there. So that looks like your, you know, your power supply, zero to five volts that you can output to something. Here's injector. So I imagine this is an injector test. So mode 1, mode 2, mode 3, mode 4, don't uh, have any idea what those are. I have to read the manual to kind of get into that. Uh, but it says mode 1, okay, produce once a 250 millisecond high pulse probably. And it probably just does that one time and you saw the little green light come on. All right. Mode 2 is a continued 4 second, 4 millisecond high with a 20 millisecond low. So it looks like it does it for four seconds. So if I do this, you'll see the green light come on. And I guess that's that. Mode three is for four seconds, but four milliseconds high with 10 milliseconds low. Interesting. Mode four is uh, continuous, right? So it doesn't stop. It just keeps pulsing a seven millisecond high, 20 millisecond low signal. It looks like the green LEDs on when this is active. So that way you can hook a, you know, you can check fuel injectors for leakage or spray patterns or, you know, things like that. Uh, that's a, or or any other kind of solenoid. I imagine that uh, you wanted to test. Uh, obviously, this is probably more for a fuel injector, but um, I'm sure there may be some other applications for this. Next up, we have PN. Um, it says positive electrode, negative electrode. I hit the up button, nothing happens there. Hit up, down. So maybe this is uh, like a voltage input test. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here with that. Um, not really getting anything to happen here. So it may just be a, you know, you want to touch it to a signal and see if it's maybe a positive signal or a negative signal. And then we have a setup here. Okay. So setup. We've got sound, so you can turn the sound, the beep on and off, I imagine. Obviously language. So there's uh, quite a few languages here that uh, you know the product can use. Looks like we're like there's 14 languages nice okay uh, there's a firmware upgrade uh, obviously probably uses a USB port for that that uh, showed earlier um, and yeah looks like it's goes into some kind of you know probably a Linux bootloader there and it's waiting for the upgrade 
and I don't know that I can get out of this doesn't look like I can I'll have to just disconnect the battery we'll reconnect the battery on this let it boot back up okay let's go back down to setup and display style dark or probably light so let's go back yep exactly so if you want a, a white background with dark text you can select that or like me I do like the uh, dark um, so I do like the black background with the white text more contrast for me uh, and then about which is probably just going to be yeah, what version of Sigma Probe this is the hardware version uh, what build it is and what the serial number is so nice well that kind of covers you know all the features of the unit um, like I said I want to do a more in-depth review and go into each of these functions individually and try them out but uh, you know this initial video is more just an overview uh, you know a, 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 an open you know open the box see what's inside what comes with the unit um, and then go through all the you know the screens and everything like that to uh, you know see what functionality that we have um, so yeah so I guess you know it seems pretty full featured uh, certainly more so than really any other tool that I've kind of used for the automotive you know diagnostics I mean most of the time you you might actually have an oscilloscope you know a, an automotive oscilloscope uh, or a you know obviously a digital multimeter and this does seem to combine you know both of those functions I'm not sure how well they you know work we'll have to kind of find that out in the in the real review the the in-depth review but you know from what I can see here a high level uh, you know it covers the bases plus it adds in you know the relay check you know the uh, you can activate things which is nice so you don't have to you know come up with some other equipment to activate solenoids or turn light bulbs on and off things like that uh, you actually have a zero to five volt output which you could probably feed into uh, the ECM so to speak is to substitute for a sensor uh, voltage right so you can see if you know the ECM is reading back what you would expect for that voltage level uh, and maybe you know troubleshoot uh, something like that uh, PNN not sure what that is we'll have to you know kind of look at that more in depth and of course the injector test which is you know an interesting feature for this to have so you don't have to go and get a separate you know injector testing piece of equipment to uh, you know see if injectors are leaking or you know the spray pattern is horrible on it uh, that way you don't have to you know take it off the vehicle so to speak and maybe go to the bench and do it or you can take this to the bench and, and you know pre-check solenoids or check used ones and see and make sure that they're functional um, so I mean overall my first impressions of the tool are very good you know it looks well built um, I don't think uh, you know it really uh, has any major flaws it looks like the light on the top is always on doesn't really look like you can turn that off it just stays on while you're working on it I think it goes off after a certain time limit there but um, other than that yeah I'm really uh, so far pretty impressed with this little device here we'll have to put it through its paces obviously in the in-depth review um, but overall you know like I said with the in-depth review that will come up and go into the more details on all of the features I really think this is a a worthwhile product if you're in this kind of troubleshooting I don't really do this kind of thing anymore so for me it's not so much you know something that I would be using uh, very frequently but um, you know if you're working on cars all the time and with all the electronics and cars these days you know you could use the oscope you could you know the injector test is helpful uh, of course the meters is, is is always helpful and then uh, you know you can test relays and uh, you know uh, 
things like that with this. So I mean, you know, my overall opinion of it is it's it's a good quality tool. It comes in a nice, uh, you know, a nice blow molded case, um, just like any you know high end or you know decent piece of automotive diagnostics equipment usually comes in those things, uh, and that's just you know not really a big deal but it's just nice to be able to store this thing somewhere in its own dedicated uh, um, case that you can put in your toolbox um, you know other than that like I said the cable I didn't really show the cable on this you know this cable here that comes out of the circuit board you know this is a long cable you know I think this is like you know 12 feet or 15 feet long so you know that cable can really you know you can get some length on it and get away from you know get pretty far away from where you're trying to uh, test things from and still have enough lead so um, but yeah overall I'm really impressed with this and especially like I said the uh, the user manual is uh, better than most so I'll have to go check that out some more and uh, you know obviously we'll take a look at this in more detail and more depth um, in the uh, in-depth review so thanks again to uh, VxDOS for you know Looking for reviewers of this Sigma probe, and uh, you know, uh, as usual with everything YouTube, you know, subscribe, like, dislike, you know, all those things, you know what to do. And uh, I'll put links to all this uh, stuff down in the comments. And uh, you know, let me know what you guys think of this. In the meantime, we'll see you next time. Bye.